Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be setting a ledger board for the trusses. Now, this ledger board is a, I believe a nine and a half inch LVL, and it's gonna be mounting to the side of this wall behind me, and we're gonna set roof trusses for this little porch over this patio. So, if we pull up our 3D viewer on the MyTech app, you can see the porch sticking off the back of this house. Now we're gonna be setting this purple LVL against this wall here. Later we're gonna be setting these posts and beam, but that's gonna be in another video. So normally there's a height on the print for where this, uh, this roof attaches, but we don't have a height on the print or the truss layout. So I'm just kind of looking here to see where this looks like it lines up on the MyTech. And it, to me it looks like it goes a half inch up the top of the LVL goes a half inch up on that first top plate. Now I asked the general if that's okay, if we're good to go off that, and he said just make it look like the print does. So we're gonna compare this to the print and try and figure this out. Not a very long set of plans here. We got one view of the porch from the side here. And it looks like, I wanna say we're about six inches below the subfascia right there. The top of our roof looks about six inches below the subfascia. Here on the back, you can see the beam kind of covers the top, that window, which is in line with the patio door on our build. And um, the bottom of the beam is just above that patio door. So that's kind of what we're looking for to figure this out where this, this ledger goes. So if we go back over to the 3D viewer, we want the top of the roof to be six inches below the subfascia. Right here, you can see the subfacer is going to go on these tails on the left of the screen. So it's actually going to hang down five and a half inches below where that blue line, that blue roof plane ends. So that's actually going to be really close there if we put it right there. So we might bump it down, we're going to say an inch below that first top plate. Now, this is not common. Hopefully you have a measurement on your own plans. But if you don't, and this is what your general says, you gotta figure it out. So we're gonna set this purple LVL an inch below, the top of it an inch below our first top plate. So let's go mark that out on the wall. Here we go, we can see our double top plate right here. Here's our truss heel. And we decided we're gonna be marking it, we're gonna be setting the top of our LVL ledger an inch below this plate. And that is gonna set us about six inches below with the roof plane, hopefully. We'll see how it works because we're just figuring this out on the fly. Inch down. Now we need to shoot a level line over there so that this ledger sits level. I'm actually just gonna put the laser right up here so I can just be on the ladder down there reading the laser. So we got a nine and a half inch LVL. We can probably chalk top and bottom. Okay, so my laser height is three inches. I'm gonna try and set the laser right at this so it's a lot easier for me on the other side. So right now my laser is, I know, is an eighth below where I should be on the top of my LVL on the other side. So there's our laser right there, perfect. I'm gonna use my square to transfer it to the wall. Looks about good there. We wanna go an eighth up. Not that that really matters. We'll get this thing perfect. Looks good. Okay, that line is the top of our LVL. So here's our LVL ledger, and we got it flushed up with our two-ply LVL that sits on these front posts. That way we were able to mark for trusses on all three at the same time, because one's just going on each side just like a wall. So we're gonna set this up on the patio here, and we know that our studs are pulled from that far corner, 16 inches on center. So we're gonna preset all of these five inch structural screws so that they, they go into the studs.
Okay, so now we're gonna set this LVO up on our blocks here. We got blocks a little over nine and a half below our line, and then we're gonna screw it off. Hopefully each one of these screws hits a stud. So when I'm screwing this in, I'm looking right across the top. I want to split that chalk line in half. There we go. Now we want to look for any misses on these studs here. We're looking good so far. Looks like we hit them all. So there you have it, our ledger's up. You can see we flushed up that end on this side so that it's flush with our framing. That's where our 24 foot width gets pulled off of. That way the sheeting on the side of the gable is flush with the sheeting on the side of the house. And we double check to make sure that all of our fasteners hit into a stud or a cripple. Next we'll show you guys how to set posts. So click here to watch that video. And if you got any value out of this, subscribe to our channel because we're doing a video about every skill it takes to frame a house.